cursed to roam the rivers and lakes for eternity, searching for her lost children. The tale of La Llorona is one that has been terrifying those in Latin America and Hispanic cultures for centuries. She is often depicted as a tall, thin ghost, blessed with natural beauty and long, dark hair. Roughly translated, La Llorona means the weeping woman, as she roams the rivers and creeks, weeping and wailing, searching for her children. Those who come across her are said to be dragged screaming into a watery grave. The exact origin of La Llorona is unclear, and there are many versions about how she became the weeping woman. One of the more common variations is that a young beautiful woman named Maria, full of life and love, married a wealthy man who showered her with gifts and attention. After Maria gave him two sons, things began to change. They began to drift apart and he returned to his old ways, having many affairs and turning to alcohol to dull his boredom. He would often leave Maria and his two sons alone for months at a time, and it appeared that he no longer cared for Maria. Eventually he decided that he would leave Maria for good, and he married a woman that he believed to be of his social class. He would only return to visit his children, and this caused Maria to feel great resentment towards her two sons. One evening, Maria and her two children took a stroll on the riverbank. She came across her husband with his new wife as they rode by in a carriage. After seeing the two together, Maria's anger could no longer be controlled. She lashed out at her children, grabbing them and throwing them into the river. As their bodies floated down the stream and began to disappear, only then she realized what she had just done. She attempted to run down the riverbank and save her children, but it was too late. Maria was overcome by grief and she ran through the streets wailing. According to the legend, La Llorona mourned her children day and night. She roamed the nearby rivers in her white gown, hoping that eventually her children would come back to her. She refused to eat and sleep until she grew so thin that she resembled a skeleton. Eventually she finally died on the banks of the river where she lost her children. It wasn't long after that her restless spirit began to appear and could be seen walking down the banks of the nearby rivers in the darkness. Her weeping and wailing could be heard at night and the locals afraid of what they heard stopped going out after dark. According to the legend, if she came across a child, she would attempt to take that child and drown them in the lake in the hope that she would be given her children back in return. In some versions of the myth, she kills anyone who crosses her, and in others, only children. The tale of La Llorona was often told to frighten children as a way of stopping them sneaking out of the house at night for you may be kidnapped by La Llorona. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'd like to hear from you in the comments below. Have you heard of La Llorona before? And if so, what version of the tale were you told? As always, I've been your host, Mythology and Fiction Explained.